But now the tech world has a problem. Women are not represented well in it, especially women of color. Asian women represent 5% of tech jobs. African American women, 3%. Hispanic women, 1%. It's with that context that I hope you see why this project by a group of girls at Franklin Middle School in Minneapolis has become so greatly important. You guys ready to learn a little bit about Cargill? Cargill is the biggest privately run company in the U.S. These are the problems that Cargill's working on. And today, the Future Girls Club of Franklin Middle School is about to take on one of the biggest challenges of their lives. We find when you look at the talent pipeline, the diversity in the pipeline is actually going down. So we've been thinking a lot about how do we work with elementary and middle school to get people interested in this career field early. You have a tilt sensor with an LED, so you use pin nine. Just two months ago, the girls were selected to hook up with the tech learning group Red Hat. They were introduced to wires and batteries and circuits for the very first time. It led to a take-home project. Use what they learned to build something for themselves. Day one, we lay out the expectations, high expectations, of course. And then, <laughs> and then day two, they come in and they're just grabbing the supplies talking to each other, collaborating, and making it happen. It's good that we're here today to show you guys how to build circuits. Back at Cargill, nerves build. Can I get one of them? The moment is here. We have to put one side of it on where the battery is going to be going. The students now become the teachers. The copper tape could not touch or else the light would not work. Going from the classroom to the boardroom. I knew that I had to do this if I wanted to prove my brother wrong. <laughs> Showing one of the CIOs of Cargill and 40 other adults how to build this. We're putting up our logo. And so when you press the button, the stars, the stars will light up. When you see all the effort you put into the project, and now you see your middle school girls giving speeches to the CIO of, of Cargill. Right. It's the response. It shows us that we're doing something right. It's not really about circuits. The process and doing it and everything that you have to go through is not just this is easy, that is easy, and you can just do it like that. You actually need teamwork. This project was a conduit to a much larger lesson. Building the circuitry, I think lighting it up will um, it kind of sparks me because it's interesting. Like doing this project lit up our own light bulbs yeah. that we created. Yeah. Because we learned how to make circuits, so why not light them up, right? That's amazing. I feel so special. We should feel special because we just did it. Right, right. Yeah. Shout out to the Future Girls Club and uh, Michael B., their teacher. Uh, fantastic. Fant and Dre, the other teacher as well. They did such a wonderful job. I asked one of the girls, do you think this maybe like you want to take a career shot at something like this? And she goes, yes. So when you hear that, if it's something you've never even, never even been introduced to before, it's working, right? So like you spark this interest. It's fantastic. Cargo, by the way, is a founding member of Paradigm for Parity. So they have a goal of filling half of all of their management positions with women by 2030. That's a big job to do, but applause to them for shooting high.